Hello, my name's Linda Martin and today I'd like to tell you a little bit about a book that I'd written called Quick and Easy Gift Ideas with Eggs. One of the things that I like to do is try to encourage people that have never tried egg craft before to actually have a go. And this book contains 27 different projects, most of which can be done without any previous experience of egg art whatsoever. So let's have a quick look at some of the projects that we have. And we'll start with this little one, which as you can see is a windmill. And we've got all the little bits and pieces painted around the outside of it. And also we have little sails that turn and the book describes each of the projects in turn with detailed instructions as to how to make them. This is actually achieved by popping the filigree against the shell with a little hole going through the middle which has a head pin with a bead and another bead at the back to hold it in position but only loosely so that it actually rotates when you spin it. So this is a fun little project especially for children. Now another of the projects in the book is the clock and this uses a half egg shell with an oval of shell removed from the middle section and then that's replaced with a piece of card and the clock movement actually will pop out of there. It's held in very very firmly, it's not glued but it's just literally held in because it's a very very tight fit into the card and this is trimmed up with little flowers as you can see. So that's another project that we have. Now one of the simplest forms of decorating an egg is to use fabric to cover the shell. This one uses a mixture. It's actually gold lame fabric and I've painted, oh, no I haven't, I've used polyester satin on the panels in between and then a little bit of trim on the top. This is such a very, very simple idea. So that's something that most children could actually achieve. And this is another little project and this is a duck egg which is covered in it's painted with lilac, glittered all over, just little tiny silk flowers inside. And you can see here on the illustration on the backboard, you could actually personalise this one so that you have um, a numeral inside or you could have a little teddy bear for a baby so it could be used for a, a christening, that sort of thing. Lots and lots of ideas. In the past I've actually made these for ladies evenings um, for various functions. So that's something that's really simple to do. Now don't panic if you don't have a drill because some of these things can actually be achieved using uh, cutting them using a half round Swiss needle file. And of course sometimes you don't even want to cut the egg. Instead you could create something like this. And you can see the same glitter is actually applied over the top and bottom half of the egg but the difference that it makes in applying glitter over a dark finish is incredible. So this is painted black on the top, white on the bottom and the same glitter used but you can just see how the light catches that beautifully. We'll just have a quick look at a couple of other colours. This is a lilac, lilac with black and here we have a couple of different shades of a peach and a bit of lemon. We've just put an extra swag on the bottom of this one. So you can do more or less what you like. You can see I've, I've added strands of cord going down here as well. Again, very, very simple to do. Um, you can see on the backboard here I've actually used a recessed picture frame and a slice of eggshell, this is a goose egg, with a little transfer on it, just a water slide transfer. Trim it round with some braiding and you've got a lovely picture which could celebrate the birth of a baby or anything else for that matter. Um, the same idea can be used to create a greeting card as well. But do you know you can actually make jewellery from eggshells? This is one of the projects in the book. And this is um, a bob white quail egg, which is quite small. And this is covered with SS5 crystals 
There's a tiny little bit of rhinestone chain on here. You can just see there between the two. Little crystal set rondelles and the rest of the egg is trimmed with one and a half millimetre no hole pearls, each one applied individually. So although this one is quite complex, um, you can also choose to do something a little less elaborate and that's something that you can actually give as a beautiful gift to somebody. The book is called Quick and Easy Gift Ideas with Eggs and the idea is that you can have something that you can produce quickly, fairly easily without any enormous levels of skill and it's something that when you're doing egg art you're, and you're selling your work you'll quite often find that if you're doing a show when craft fairs get back to running again you'll need something which will provide a quick sale and this book is full of those ideas. So 27 different projects in the book, detailed instructions for each one. Let's just have a look at one of the pages and you can see here Oops, there we are, this is a little crib egg and you can see you have it, marking diagrams if needed, not always needed for any of the projects but they're there and the little teddy bear sitting in a crib made from a duck egg very very simple to make and extremely popular especially if someone's just had a baby so there we go, so you're looking at price we have the book available for £10.95 as a download, which is sometimes a lot easier for some people. If you do want a paper copy, we can do that as well. There will be some postage added on to that. So if you're interested in getting a copy, you can click on the link, which will take you through to my website where you can purchase a download. And you'll also have information at the end for contacting me, either by phone or by email and then you can place an order for a hard copy if that's what you'd like to do. So thanks very much for watching. I hope this is something that some of you will consider getting into. And if you would like to look and subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll find that there are plenty of other little videos on different aspects of egg art, including a Getting Started series, which shows you how to go through the different stages of creating a goose egg jewellery box. Now, I'm also planning on doing something for children. We have written a book called Egg Art for Kids and I'll be doing a video regarding that book very, very shortly. So if you're looking for something to do over the Easter holidays or you're looking for anything to keep the kids occupied when they're not doing schoolwork, then that's something that you can consider. So £10.95 the download available through our website and hard copies just get in touch with me through the contact details at the end. Hopefully you'll enjoy doing egg art if you haven't already got involved. Thanks for watching.